My name is Brenda Kenny. I'm the VP of Programs with Junior Achievement of Nova Scotia. Um, I've been working with JA for over 20 years and uh, spend a lot of time in classrooms delivering programs. I've also been part of the Junior Achievement of Canada Committee that's been quickly digitalizing all of our programs. Uh, all the information to get in touch with us, I'm B. Kenny at janovascotia.ca or 902-691-2233. Our website is there, as well as the JA campus and some of our social media if you want to follow us for updates. Uh, Junior Achievement of Nova Scotia, we are an international nonprofit with companies with, with cha chapters in over 100 countries around the world. Our three pillars really are financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and workplace readiness. All of our programs are always free to schools and students and teachers, and we have a lot of new digital options. So over the last few months with COVID, we've rapidly developed and deployed most of our programs in a digital platform. Some are teacher-led or the students can do them as a self-directed programs as well. Um, Junior Achievement of Nova Scotia has a certain menu of programs, but there are more program options available at www.jacampus.org. Um, some of the programs are being updated and finalized over the summer, and we're working through some of the bugs, but we're hoping that by September everything will be up and running and ready to go. So what programs are available? Company program is our flagship. It tends to be for grade 9, 10, 11, and 12. It can be done in an in-school version, or it can be done as an after-school version. Um, and we will be setting some of those up this year. We're looking at setting up the after-schools in the second semester versus the typical fall start. We also have a modified version for learning centers. So if you want more information on these ones, just contact me. They're, no longer, they're not yet available on the digital campus. The Investment Strategies program is for grade nines to, nine to 12. It's run twice a year, fall and spring sessions. It's totally virtual and always has been. There are virtual lessons, lessons plans, and volunteers that uh, you know virtually speak to the students. And then it has a six-week virtual national stock market competition, which has live feed from the three big um, stock exchanges so that students learn what affects the global economy, how the global economy affects the stock market. It's always a lot of fun and again contact me for information on that one world of choices um, we've always done as an event style program it tends to, we have targeted grade nine in the past few years when we've been doing the in-person version of this but it's a really great program for any of the high school kids uh, or students um, we've done an event style style program in the past however in the last few months we've added a large number of mentor programs or mentor videos to the digital campus. They're available with French subtitles. Dollars with Cents is a personal financial literacy program for students in grade 8 to 10. And when I say 8 to 10, these can be flexible depending on your students. It is available on the digital campus and it's also available in English or French. Economics for Success is a program that we've been doing with the grade nine students for many years in nearly all, high, uh, nearly all schools in the province. Um, it really talks about life, behind, uh, life beyond high school. What does budgeting look like? How does education help with success? What types of career clusters are you interested in? Um, it also has goal setting and goes on to do workplace readiness. And it's available in, in online or in person. Um, in English or French. It's My Future is a junior achievement program that's only available here in Nova Scotia. Uh, and it's all about personal branding and career skills. It's grade seven, eight program typically for us. Um, and if you're interested in getting the materials for your class as it's not yet digital, just contact me and we can have those sent to your school. Um, grade six and seven, our business world. This is learning all about how businesses are part of our community. It allows for career exploration and all of our programs of course are interactive and give students a chance to you know watch videos, do activities, and we try to make it as fun and um, engaging as possible. And it's also available in English and French. I talked quickly about our after-school company program um, and it's kind of it, it's 
uh, a little bit unique, obviously, in that the kids do it for 10, 12 to 15 weeks. And it can be included in their CAS hours, their Duke of Edinburgh requirements. It can also be used for entrepreneurial ventures and personal development credits. It has an awards program and scholarships, um, as well as we've typically had a, a conference, a weekend conference, but obviously with COVID that might become virtual for the upcoming year. Um, there are some programs that are only available on the digital campus, um, just some fun and games, just some self-directed activities that link to business and finance. Uh, More Than Money online is for grades three to six. It's financial literacy, talks about businesses in your community, and it's available in French or English. A Business of My Own online is a grade four to six program. It's all about entrepreneurship and financial literacy, and it's available online only. Be Entrepreneurial is a grade nine to 12 program that has to do with developing a business plan and looking at entrepreneurship as a career path. But again, it's only available at the digital campus. So traditionally, junior achievement would come into your classroom, programs would be delivered by a JA volunteer. We would provide the program materials. It's included uh, kits of materials to do games and activities. And each of the students would have a workbook. Typically, the schools would sign up the entire grade level, such as Economics for Success, where we would come in and do all the grade nines in a particular, on, a, on the same day with multiple volunteers, and typically in a half-day format. But we have a whole new reality. So now we have blended digital and virtual models. So if we look at blended options, knowing that volunteers are probably not going to be in the classroom this fall, what we could do is provide materials to the teachers um, and perhaps, you know, we're still figuring out what's going to work best. Teachers who are interested could certainly take the program materials, including the program guide that guides the volunteer or teacher how to present the program to the students. Um, and we would provide the kit and all the materials and the teacher could take the uh, students through. Or we may look at an idea of where the, we send the materials out to the teacher, they would be there with, with the students, but we would have volunteers video conference in during the program morning. They would engage with the students, give their personal stories, help them figure out some of the pieces of the program, but the teacher would also be there to lead the student through and to help them with the different activities. There are also digital version, versions where the teacher could have the hard copy materials um, and then deliver it during their class using the digital campus. There's also virtual options now. So it could be synchronous where the teacher reaches out and gets a code from me. So the teacher led programs on the JA campus, most of them do require a code, which you can easily get from me. And then you could schedule uh, a video conference time with your students. This would be if we're at a situation where students are being homeschooled again or taking or working from home, I guess is the better way to say it. So you could then schedule a video conference with your students, share your screen and take the students through the JA program, working on the activities together, inviting the questions and leading different discussions. Or they could be do done asynchronously. Um, you could assign the program to the students. They can then log into the JA campus to the self-directed programs, and they could complete the sections submitting screenshots of completed pieces, or there is an option for them to print a certificate at the end, which they could then submit to you that they had completed it. There are little quizzes and little pieces along the way during the programming so that students can track how they're doing and what they're learning. So let's take a quick look at the digital campus. So this is the opening screen on the digital campus. We always go to the program library. So we click on program library and it will take you to either the view instructor manuals, which are the teacher led programs or view the self-directed courses. So if we go into a self-directed course, um, we will need to log in. And at this point, if you haven't created a login, it'll simply come up and ask them to log in. Um, it, if they want a certificate at the end, they would have to put their name and, uh, in and an email address. And then a link goes to the email to confirm that they're a person. 
So I'm already logged in, so I'll just hit the login button. There we go. So once I'm in here, I can then go down and see the different games or different uh, programs. So fun and games would just be a fun one. If we want to take a quick look at our business world online, we would simply connect in this one. And this is the self-directed. And it comes up with a okay, number Brenda, of... Okay, excuse me. I'm yep. still... I'm see, still seeing your slides, your um, presentation. I'm not seeing your the campus. Oh, okay. Let me see. How do I change that to this? I'm going to stop sharing for a second. And then I'm going to present now. The window. And I'm going to... Oh, it doesn't give me the choice to pick that one. Well, I love technology when it works. And it usually works. Why will it not show that one? Well, I'm going to continue on and we'll see if we can get this to work a little bit later. Yeah, okay. hold it down. See if this works. Can you now see it? Yes. Perfect. What is a business? Excellent. Yes. Sorry about that. So um, this one is for our business world online, which was is a grade four to six program. And so the student would just pick um, the first lesson and there's a little video that they could then watch so the video would come up here and they could watch this little video about what is a business um it has to do with Philip the phone and he wants to start a new business adventure we won't watch it now um and then there's some different things that they can go through so they can read this little slide and talk about you know wilbur wanting to do a whirly gig factory and he's doing great and then he moves to the city and why doesn't it work in the city because everybody lives in an apartment, they don't have a lawn to put a whirly gig on. So then there are some mo more situations where they a new automotive plant has moved to town and they would work their way through the different ones. They can check their answers and they'll come up with, you know, it'll give them a score. They can redo it or they can look at the answers that are right. So then there's some information on where customers come from. This one happens to have a, a word find afterwards where they can find the words. The words are down here and you just drag your your cursor over them and find the different ones and they can check it when they're done and then there's another little video and it just continues that way so the kids it you can see that it's a very kind of engaging um program and they can look at all different pieces in there the teacher led has a lot of the same materials but it also has questions and information for you to ask the students as they're going through and it allows you to show them videos and things like that over um, your, uh, if you had a, Zoom, uh, a Google Meet with, with your class, if we're in a position where we have to do it um, back to, to that type of one. So there's four different modules in that, in that one, and you just keep going through that way. So I'm going to go back to my slides now, and hopefully that'll work if I do this, and then I present now, and I'm going to go back to a window and go, oh, my slides are gone. Oh, Kathy. We've all been there. Don't worry about it, Brenda. <laughs> and I even practiced this. Um, so where did my... Uh, at some point, I must have closed down my slides. Um, basically, the last couple of slides, because the biggest thing I wanted to do was show you the campus. So the last couple of slides, which I don't have in front of me, but they really just... Um, Taught, gave you my address again and had time for questions. The key here is if you have any questions, reach out to me, Brenda Kenny at Junior Achievement of Nova Scotia, bkenny at janovascotia.ca. Um, and the campus is www.jacampus.org. My phone number is 902-691-2233. And you can reach out by that way as well. Thank you.